happy Friday, we're high school. I'm Addie McCoola. And I'm Angela Paul. Here are your announcements for October 21st, brought to you by Weir Student Media. This weekend, we'll see warmer temperatures return. Today, the forecast calls for sunny skies with a high of 65 and a low of 44. Saturday and Sunday, we'll have highs in the 70s and lows in the 40s. For lunch, we are having pepperoni cheese pizza, fresh romaine salad, glazed sliced carrots, and chilled pineapple. Happy birthday to everyone celebrating this weekend. Tomorrow, Nathaniel Bass. And Sunday, Ethan Bailey, Brandon Barish, Chloe Fiddler, and Ryland Sprague. Today, we'll wrap up our celebration of Disability History Week by sharing ways that we can all be more accepting and inclusive. See the human first, not their disability. All people have value and deserve to be treated with respect. Practice the golden rule. Treat everyone as you'd like to be treated. Find similarities with others and celebrate differences. We're all more alike than we are different. Acknowledge that disabilities is a wide community that encompasses many types and affects people from all walks of life. Don't shy away from people with disabilities. Interact with them as you would anyone else. If you're unsure how to interact, ask them or their aid or interpreter tactfully. Include people with disabilities when having a conversation about disability. Avoid pitying or patronizing people with disabilities. They are not the victim. Always ask before offering assistance they may not need or want it. Have conversations with people living with disabilities. Be mindful of your word choice. Avoid language that is offensive, suggests a lack in something, or implies negative stereotypes. Understand and respect the needs and concerns of the disabled community. Stop and think before making or saying assumptions or prejudgments. Encourage and buy products with, from people with disabilities. Advocate for accessibility policies and laws that support the disabled community. Treat all people as equals who should be given the same opportunities as everyone else. Share what you've learned with others to reduce stigmas around disabilities and stop ableism. Learn and educate about your disabilities. I think it's, you know, Disability Awareness Week I think is fantastic. It's such a broad range of what you could cover, um, you know, everything from mental, physical, it could be PTSD, um, you know, it could be autism, Down syndrome, traumatic brain injuries. Um, somebody could be paraplegic, you know, be paralyzed for most of their life. Um, I think the most important thing is realizing these are people. They're no different than you and I. They're no different than anybody else. Um, everybody deserves respect and kindness and just understanding. The spring musical is returning to Weir High School. Organi organizers need to know how many students would be interested in participating. If you're interested in performing or working on the musical, please sign the sheet outside Mrs. Horace's room, B206. Please see Mrs. Horace for any questions. Finally, we have your sports info. Swim practice will start next Tuesday, October 25th from 3.30 to 5 at Millsop. Practice will be 3 to 5 after that. Good luck to the sports teams competing this weekend. This evening, the football team, cheerleaders, and the band travel to East Liverpool at a 7 p.m. kickoff. Tomorrow, the JV football team travels to Union Local for a 10 a.m. start, and the girls' soccer team travels to Oakland at 11 a.m. for the sectional final. That's a wrap for this week. Have an awesome weekend, weekend Weir. Weir.